Buddy, how are you doing? There you go. Easy. Yeah. Oh, God. So, how is the vibe like for you, you know, looking into the industry now? The space in terms of what you're doing and all that. How is the vibe like for episode? Well, I think it's, it's, it's joy every moment because um, we've been here. We've, we've stood the test of time and we're still growing. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the fun part about this is people still see me as a new artist. That is, that is a blessing. Because, yeah, we've been here close to a decade or even more. But if every time you've been addressed as, yeah, you know, he's fresh in the industry, that means that evergreen, you know. Wow. Wow. But um, don't that bother you? you? You've been here for for a minute. Yeah. And all the time people see you as you know, a new artist and all that. You know the space we find ourselves, mm -hmm. we, are, we, are, we are quick to be retired. <laughs> you know? <laughs> You know, you don't even catch five years or they say, oh, you there, you be old school. You get what I mean? Yeah. So if I'm still considered as one of the old schools and still can blend with the new schools, then mm -hmm. yeah, it's, a, it's a good one. It's a good one. If I shave my beard and I go feel good high school. <laughs> <laughs> so in recent times, yeah. you made a post on Facebook. Yeah. You said, if a Jamaican can say Bob Marley over Michael Jackson. Yeah. A Nigerian can say fella over Bob Marley. Yeah. Then I can say E.T. Mensa over fella. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but 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 it's clear. But what exactly pushed you to you know make you know such a post? Okay, so re in, in in my recent time, just like you said, I'm trying mm -hmm. to discover a new side of me, um, and it has it has actually led me into so many researches, mm -hmm. right? Um, there was one part in history mm -hmm. where. Is it Konimo? I think Konimo mm -hmm. had to meet Lieutenant Stichy and, and all these legends yeah. from the islands, right? Yeah. And then they could still have a similar blend of the sound from mm -hmm. the Caribbean sound and then our indigenous sound, which, which means that there's, there's a line there. There's, mm -hmm. there's, there's a sort of, um, there's a sort of, not a mix up, mm -hmm. but a sort of retracing back even their sound to the side, oh, which is quite indigenous to mm -hmm. me. So, Looking at the longevity of my craft, I've always been one artist who pushes a certain agenda. Mm -hmm. Would not only be love music and all of that. So I feel like if we are not able to project certain things well, we'll still be lost in the loop. Reason being that we, the artists from this side, who have followed reggae and dance all over the years, have, have been a bit cliche with it. Mm -hmm. we've, we've not actually been real with it mm -hmm. in the sense that lyrics-wise, Sometimes we copy too blindly. Mm -hmm. Just like a Jamaican who will say boss gone and all of those things. Mm -hmm. Kill our better you know. <laughs> so <laughs> so I'll, I'll so rather... says, I put AK-47 in my pocket. You, you know, know, you know. How can you put AK in You know. <laughs> so so I, I I feel like as as real as we can be, mm -hmm. sometimes we need to actually tap into the old, old looks and, and give it back to them. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why I'm actually trying to sound more indigenous and even away from the reggae scene with this particular tweet is that do you know that even if i do a reggae song in chi mm -hmm. it will still be branded as high life that yeah. is that is where that's how our industry sees it yeah so many catalogs from um could you entry but they still call it high life which is reggae yeah you understand yeah so the new me now is trying to tap into another scene or another space where I've not actually done. And that space is is a more, more upper class, mm -hmm. more, more soothing, more um big man thing. All right. You get me? Because yeah, we've done it for the ghettos over like a decade. Yeah. So now we need to cash in. Are you are you are you saying this simply because Jedouble Ambule is of the fact that mm. um what the Ghanaian reggae dancehall artists are doing is a copy from Jamaica. Mm. He doesn't see sees it as, you know, like original. Mm. So, and the original thing over here is the highlight. Yeah. Is that the main reason why you're trying to kind of, you know, like gradually mm. step back, you know, into the high life thing, which seems to be like, quote unquote, original. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so far from what uh, um, the big man said, mm -hmm. I think that, he has his point. Mm -hmm. But then again, we can also dispute the fact that reggae itself, mm -hmm. artists from this side started making 
or quote unquote, let me use that mm -hmm. word again. Reggae dancehall started making Ghana music top notch. No mm -hmm. disrespect to the other genres, mm -hmm. but it took the reggae dancehall scene to start filling the stadiums Definitely. without international artists. Mm -hmm. You would go on Grammys, and every artist who has represented on there is a reggae dancehall artist from Ghana. Definitely. One of the biggest collaborations that hits the world, not even Africa. Shatawale yeah. and Beyonce. And Beyonce. Reggae dancehall artist. Yeah, definitely. So for me, I only think that it is right that we follow what puts food on our table. That's right. But then again, I've always said this. What we do is not 100% reggae or dancehall. Mm -hmm. Whatever we do from here. From, from where I stand... Mm -hmm. Any production that is done from this side mm -hmm. and has a local instrument or mm -hmm. an African instrument added to the production, mm -hmm. whether it be dance or reggae, mm -hmm. it dilutes it from the original reggae or dancer, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it becomes like a sub. Mm -hmm. But then again, you're looking at the projection, the mileage, then you definitely have to let it fall under reggae or dancer. What Ambule is saying, yes, I respect that. And not to say me, I'm following that because I want to stop reggae and dance. I never go to stop reggae and dance. Mm -hmm. This year, I'm giving you guys a dance or album. Hey. Easy. Hey. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Hey. I've not said it anyway. I've not said it anyway. <laughs> so you're giving us a dance or album yeah, this year? This year. Wow. Me. Easy. And it's been recorded like two years ago. So it's just a build up and, and international artists on it and stuff. You wow. get me? Wow. Um, where I find myself now is I'm just trying to experiment. Seeing. Yes, just experiment. So, let's start with Atia. Yes. Beautiful reggae, reggae song. song. Yes. You know, <laughs> it, it's 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 kind of um, got a nod from the VGMs mm. in terms of reggae yes. dancer song of the year. Yes. You know, yeah. beautiful reggae song. Yeah. And from the reggae fraternity, everybody mm. was like, "Yo, why is episode no kind of putting that kind of energy into the reggae? Yeah, into the reggae side, but." Yeah. You know, we've seen you and uh, Kwabna Kwabna and mm. uh, you know a couple of others doing the remake and yeah. high life and all that. Yeah. You know, um, I would like to know from you why that. What, what, why did you shift a, a bit from the reggae side mm. and kind of focus more on the high, life, high life, high life of it? Yes. You understand yes. me? Yes. Why? Yes. Well, um, the thing is. Originally, uh -huh. nobody can dispute the fact that the original song is a reggae song. Yeah. That shows my love for reggae. Definitely, right? definitely. Now, I was just trying to experiment. Mm -hmm. It wasn't something that I wanted to... So if you watch, the reggae itself has the original production from the studio. Yeah. It went on to have the live version featuring the female band, which is Lipstick. That has yeah. two. Yeah. The high live was just me trying to experiment. And then it worked out automatically without a push. So then I'm like, okay... And that is what the fool yeah. is. You, you see it? Easy. You see it? You see it? So if, if Akuma Village will give me 5K yeah. to perform there, and yeah. then Conference Center, because of the high life, will give me 20K, I'll definitely go and take the 20K and then come back to Akuma and collect Easy. the 5K. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you Easy. know? But, but, but then again, just like I'm saying, mm. the mother is reggae. That particular project, the mother would forever be a reggae one. Okay. You get me? And I tapped the idea from Turn Your Lights Down Low. Okay. The original song by Bob himself didn't, it took the, the, the remix or yeah, the, the remake yeah. of Lauren Hill yeah. to make people go and look for the original song. Yeah. Up to now, there are countless who don't even know the original song. True. Of course. You know? So for me, so far as we can actually go to more extent of Re refining different ways to make song um, a very long or a very big catalog out of it. Now, guess what? Maybe the song was not supposed to be a reggae song. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, originally, I, I produced it in a reggae uh, uh, um, field. But I feel like it took, once it took the high life to project the reggae. Now, anybody who listens to the high life would go search how the reggae sounds like. And you go like, oh, so this even also has its own feel. Mm -hmm. You get me? Mm -hmm. Because me, I want to be booked on Rototom. And I want to be played, playing the African festivals with Ambule and San Trophy. Eh, eh. So we go cash out <laughs> a big one. <laughs> I saw a Syria there. But, but same way if you do the reggae too, yeah. it, it will earn you that. Because of Rototom, reggae jam, and all those, yeah. all those, you know, 
platforms are mm. reggae platforms. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So based on the reggae, I'll be booked on Rotterdam. Yeah. And then the ones too that don't listen to reggae <laughs> and want to listen to jazz. Yeah. I'll still be there and give them jazz. Definitely. And then the Francophone countries who want to listen to Zouk, I have a Zouk rendition. I'll give them that. That way, it's you know, it's just me playing around and it worked. All right. So so um I don't know whether it's it's kind of a plan yeah. for all our reggae dancer artists to mm. switch a bit and go eat the food at the other side. Mm. Because, you know, studying Shatawali from afar, yeah. you know, doing Afrobeat and, and all those things and all that. Recently, he released a dance solo album, mm. you know what I mean? Mm. Which is doing well. Nice. And then, in recent times, um, last week, Wednesday, Stone Boy did his, you know, private listening. listening. Yeah. You know, which I was there. Mm. And listen, we have only one reggae song on it and mm. one dancer song. That's it. <laughs> no, but so but, so mm. I'm like, but wait, what is going on? Okay, so even even the Jamaicans yeah. are running away to do the <laughs> I think I think I think until we get to understand that. The world is evolving. Music itself will evolve. Yeah. We can't get stuck at one particular time. Yeah. I bet you that if Bob Mali was alive, he would yeah. have actually done a rendition of one of his songs that sounds like crank or sounds like, you know, any other type of genre. Now, you would never take that out of us. No matter which sound. Personally, I, let me speak for myself. Mm -hmm. No matter any song I do, you will still have the reggae feel in there. Definitely. The dancehall feel in there. It's just okay that, Charlie, we suffer over the years. Nobody, they, you know, actually put that that kind of respect to our name. So why don't we also try it a bit? We have not. Me, I've not left it. I would never leave it. So, 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 Epi, are you telling me that mm. there is no money in reggae in Ghana? Well, I'll say yes, and no, uh -huh. no, because it would take you, the individual, to know how to project yourself to end food. Definitely. Yes, because we've actually, we, I say we because I'm part of the problem. Mm -hmm. When when reggae dance all got mainstream, mm -hmm. we didn't protect it well to continue eating. Because, because at, at the, the point in time, every artist wants the, wanted to do dance art. Dance art. Exactly. Every artist. Exactly. Even the rappers and everything. Yeah. If so, they don't so, want to do it, they, they, would, they would even feature dance art artists on, on their records. You know, but just like I'm saying, we didn't protect it well. In, in, in terms of how to make it to the corporate world, too, in, in the way we dress, the way we look, the way we talk. This dressing matter. <laughs> but we've got, we've got you know, you know because I've got, I've got a lot of enemies, I've got a lot of haters because of this. No, but like I said, that's the truth. You what? watch, example, you watch these Jamaican artists, example, let me give you Idonia. Yeah. Yo, I did, 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 did. yo, when the man step out clean, clean, you know, you yeah. even Sizzla, <laughs> Sizzla will give you some suit way, you know. So I feel like until we get to understand that there's there's a very big difference between the culture, which is Rastafari mm -hmm. and reggae mm -hmm. and dancehall, mm -hmm. then there was always there will always be the mix up because trust me, my mom would love Raskuku's song, mm -hmm. but maybe might be scared to go where there is a reggae, reggae event happening. Mm. So until we brand it well to be able to have seated people um, in the ministries and, and they love reggae. Yeah. They love reggae. Seated in conference center where we are having some reggae splash. But, we, but um, Epi, I would like to find out this. Yeah. You, being a, you being that artist that goes out there to mm. perform and all that. Yeah. If you go to the top, mm. I'm talking about the ministries yes. and all those places. Mm. Listen, 99.9% .9 of the big men are reggae fans. Definitely. What is preventing them? What do you think is preventing them from walking forward to say, oh, yeah, listen, let me sit down over here, mm. you know, and, and enjoy some reggae. Yeah. What is, you know, preventing them from coming out on the front line to defend it? Just like I'm saying, we didn't protect it well. One, we have created that kind of misconception about the, the genre mm -hmm. in the sense that, okay, these guys are, are rough, these guys are rowdy, these guys are violent, and all of those things. But, but guess what? When they even want to listen to the most conscious movies, they still come back to these guys. Mm -hmm. But then we are not able to match that kind of personality with the kind of songs we produce. Because 
even in the reggae space, mm -hmm. we fight ourselves the most. Mm -hmm. You you understand? Yeah. Artists fighting each other. All the biggest beef in Ghana are from reggae dance <laughs> artists. So there's always that fear that I don't want to associate my personality with, with them. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. If we're able to restructure it well and look a bit clean so that the, the corporate world can actually tap into. But Mali songs are played in the churches and played in the universities and used as reference teachings. It, it means that episodes Wahala Day can simply pass for that. But why? Because we haven't been able to find that niche to be able to brand it well so that somebody sitting in parliament can actually use that as a campaign song. All right. You understand? All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Epi, Epi is making a lot of sense over here. And but I, they, go I, be, they go insult me, please. By like. <laughs> I saw a Syria girl. <laughs> so, so, Epi, yeah. how, how, how do you think we should brand this so that it will look nice for corporate mm. Ghana to say, let me invest into reggae mm. or dance or back? Mm. Okay. One, first and foremost, we the artists need to check our lyrics because it will take the song for somebody to fall in love and then love what comes after that. Mm -hmm. So if we are able to, you know, see our lyrics to also uh, um, fit a certain space, if we're able to talk more about real life happenings in Ghana, not what we hear in the Jamaican dance or, or reggae songs, then that's another way of actually pointing straight into the faces that this is what is happening in Ghana. I'm talking about, although I'm talking about Akusumbu, I'm not talking about Trench, I'm not talking about um, King's thing, I'm talking about S. Now, another thing too is, I think there should be more, more, um, more people in, in, in the media space to actually love what we're doing and also uh, um, invest that time in. The, once, once in our time, there was that. Every radio station is playing dance art. Mm -hmm. But it, it will take you and, and, and few to still maintain and say, yo, we're not switching. We're not still going to play any other thing apart from reggae and dance. And we are grateful mm -hmm. that we at least we have few people on radio, mainstream radio, mm -hmm. to still project the reggae and dance art. Mm -hmm. But the question is, we the artists, have we been able to personally push that agenda? Mm -hmm. That let's be one. And, and, and it's, for, it's for just a season. We don't have to be united. But the end goal is to make sure that we can cash out mm -hmm. in that space. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's a whole lot. It's, it's not a one-way one thing. I, I feel like it comes with every, every sector and every industry to be able to support. You, you, you get me? Just like the sound, sound clash and then the sound system, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. That's a new phase here. Even though it's, it's, it's been there for, for decades, this is a new phase here. Mm -hmm. If, if we can actually have a proper promotion, let's say, as, as I said, say, okay, we are taking a, a conference center to have um, a clash mm -hmm. between five sound systems. Yeah. You know, yeah. Re correct branding and, yeah. and, and the end goes, maybe somebody go get car. Yeah. Bossu. <laughs> Even high life DJs <laughs> will run and come and you know yeah. and get dubs for themselves. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and, of and course. So of course. I I feel like is is it will work out. But until we get to understand that the end game, just like I'm saying, is we all have to have a united front to be able to defend. Because I can speak here, the next minute another artist is interviewed, and then the artist might say different. But if we all have that mindset that yo, five years from now, just like way back. It, we only go to Akuma village or uh, um, Christmas in Egypt or some one or two places just for reggae concerts. And the artist who is on stage after performing, you have to come and join the audience to cheer the next artist because mm -hmm. it's just a handful of people. Mm -hmm. So we, we started mounting the stadiums and all of that. Mm -hmm. And then the ghettos start, you know, we, 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 did, we did the harm. We did the harm. I, I won't blame it on anybody. We did the harm. Charlie. It, 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 it means we have a lot of work to do. Very, very. 56 minutes going into the hour, 12 midday on Asasi Radio. Easy. The life in Accra on 99.5, Kumasi 98.5, Cape Coast 100.3, and Tamale 99.7. Easy. All right. So um, if, if, if you want to join us via WhatsApp also, you can, you know, send in your questions. 
And trust me, I will gladly read them for you. 020 0000 0995. 020 0000 0995. Easy. My name is King Lagazi, and my guest in the studio is DJ Buddy Episode. And, you know, I, I like it when an the artist them keep it real. You understand me? You know, he's saying he had to eat food. You know what I mean? Um, um, Jawel Tufseed said, Lagazi, um, truly, what happened between Stone Boy and Shatter at the VGME 2019 really destroyed the dancehall culture in Ghana? Easy. Do you agree to that part? Um, yes and no. <laughs> yes, because then they would the 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 other people will say ah say you catch him say we mo die say I don't mo but no because it was another way of promotion let's forget the violence that really happened it took BBC act to make news on it and all these things yeah and the the it, it would have been it would have been nice just like they did with the the, the unity concert mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that way now everybody knows that okay they are fine so yeah. the end the end game was still still project the reggae and dance art. It was only sad that, yeah, that it had to go that way for, for the public to say, oh, we mo ye catch ye So, I only think that if it hadn't been that, mm -hmm. then there wouldn't have been a clash for them to be paid to, to get food. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If it hadn't been that, there wouldn't have been space for other artists to be recognizing the reggae dance art scene about uh, like when it comes to the award scheme where they had there was more spaces for the likes of LaRusso and all those things to be nominated in that category. Mm -hmm. So one way or the other, we can change history. It is part of it. Now it has actually made us more careful about some of these things and how to react. Okay. Yeah. Junior Maestro all the way from um Norway says please ask him if he could do if he could consider doing a collab with Capasta, aka Amban. <laughs> Capasta, we are Capasta can play this song. That's my blood brother, you know. Yeah, man. I'm buying it. And yeah. and Junior Maestro again says um, that um, a dirty shop will not attract customers. You have to give them a reason why to step into your shop. Thank you. And he said he again said these discussions um, are always good for progress. All right. Easy. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're on the live on the Assassin 995 page, please share the link. Assassin Radio. Share the link. Easy. DJ Buddy in the place. So, yeah. um, Buddy, talking yeah. about Atia now. Yeah. The VGM is yeah. Reggae Dancer Song of the Year. <laughs> what are your chances? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I think I, I think I stand a very um, big one. Mm -hmm. Um before yes. you 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 go on, mm. Raskuku was here in this studio. He yeah. said three three and one was the big, oh. was the biggest. Big up, big up. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Reggae dance also, so nobody should <laughs> <compete. laughs> nobody should compete with him. <laughs> well, well, I think I think he 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 can't say that. Yeah. Episode song is big. Yeah. Same way I won't say that Raskuku song, song is bigger is big. than mine. <laughs> so let let the best best man win. You all know? right, yeah, let all me right. just keep it like that. All right, all right. Let hey, the best see. man win. Ladies and gentlemen, we have episode in the studio. And trust me, um, at a point in time at VGM, he was nominated for Best Performer. And trust me, Epi, what informs your, your, your performance in terms of like the outlook? Mm. You understand me? You know, yeah. before you step on the set, yeah. you know, some, you're dressing and yeah. all that. <laughs> and, and you are always on point and you always kill it. Yeah. What informs that? Well, I've always said that um, some artists are good vocally, mm -hmm. some are good with lyrics, mm -hmm. but it's also a double blessing to be a performer because mm -hmm. that that alone tells the longevity in the industry. Now, um, these are my secrets. I don't want to let too much out. But, <laughs> definitely, definitely. But I'll give a few. Definitely. I script every performance. When I get billed, the first thing I script. Okay. So now you're looking at a very big space where... So many things have to be considered. You're mm -hmm. Looking at the concept, mm -hmm. looking at the kind of audience you're, mm -hmm. you're going to perform to. Mm -hmm. Then the question I ask myself is, if I'm built with example, let's say, while a stone boy mm -hmm. I don't have big songs like these guys. Mm -hmm. Automatically, I've lost mm -hmm. on stage. Now, which other way can I be present so that the next 
when the next newspaper is talking about the event, mm -hmm. my name will be mentioned. Mm -hmm. Then I have to look at another direction. Okay, then let's step on the stage with a look, mm -hmm. with a costume, mm -hmm. wear a skirt, mm -hmm. or, or dress like a clown. Mm -hmm. You get me? Mm -hmm. That way, even if nobody knows me and then they're living the event, they say, hey, you decide that boy where you wear the, the skirt. Mm -hmm. My name is in the news. Yeah. You know, and I make sure that Every show, whether Kuma Village, whether Dansoma, whether Conference Center, I see it as Grammy. Mm -hmm. That is me. You don't because you don't know who is watching. Definitely. You know, and that is it's it has been a curse. Mm -hmm. It has been a curse actually, because then you you set a certain standard for yourself and always you have to go above the standard. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't have what it takes to put that performance together, you still have to do it because you don't want to drop the bar. Definitely. You know, so it's it's a whole lot that goes into it. And it's, I, I would only attribute it to a blessing and, and my team for actually sometimes understanding the stupid ideas I have. Yeah. You know, to say, okay, let's just leave you. Go and do your thing. Because most of the time, they don't they don't actually see the picture I want to paint. Mm -hmm. Charlie, I won't dress like this or I won't look like this or this is my intro. Mm -hmm. Like, ah, but you, this, they don't even pay anything. Why you not go just go and just go? I say, no, we will do it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, when we are done, we're like, oh, okay, now I understand. So for now, when, when it happens with my performances, nobody has a say. We just agree with what episode will, will and, say. And seriously, I will agree with you on, on this. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter the size of your audience. Yeah. You, know, you, need to, you have to put in your best. Definitely. Let me give you a joke. <laughs> on the 7th of August, mm -hmm. that was last year, yeah. Jamrock billed me to come in you know, mm. do juggling over there. Yeah. And for the past years, you know, like the, the billing money is always good. Yeah. But this time around, they called me. Is it and it was legacy because of COVID. COVID. <laughs> Charlie. And Elizabeth was talking and I'm like, yo, mama, you have to do something. You know, I need to invite artists to and all that. Definitely. I have to pay for their transport and all that. She said, legacy, I have this. Now, upon a second thought, I'm like, should I do this or forgo this? I'm like, let me go. Yeah. That day, at Jamrock, yeah. as I step in there, Wicked. and I began to play, Wicked. that ends me over here. Nice. That ended me over here at Asasi. Give thanks. With a good deal. You know what I mean? Yeah, is it? <laughs> is it? So, so sometimes, so sometimes it doesn't matter, you know, sometimes you have to consider. Is it? You understand? You have to yeah. look into it. Mm. Because maybe you've been praying for something for so long. And that was that's going to be the And maybe that, that, that calling alone, Will bring you that kind of yeah. breakthrough. Yeah. But sometimes, you know, we we don't look at the bigger picture sometimes. We look at, oh, what we'll get today, and that is all. Yeah, I, I understand. I totally agree with you. That day was like a movie. You know, when when the man stepped up to me and 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 showed me the message, and he said, Don't go back to SYZ again. From today onwards, you are with us. Lord God. And that easy, was all. easy. <laughs> <laughs> And that was all. And yeah. I'm like, Rastafari. Mm. Right. Mm. So if like I boycotted the... That the, event. You understand yeah. me? So sometimes I do tell people that, yo, listen, you know, let's pay attention. And the second one also, I was built to me and one popular selector, which mm. I don't want to mention his name yeah. because I don't want to give him hype. Yes. We're built to perform at um, um, African Renaissance Festival. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you understand me? Yeah. And listen to me. Listen to me carefully. I wasn't paid. Mm. I used my own money. You understand me? Jeez. To foot everything. Our story. You know what I mean? <laughs> but at the, at the end of the day, if I, if I should tell you what I'm getting today from, from that, that, you'll be surprised. Yeah. You understand me? And the boss himself called me and said, Yo, Lagazi, you know, A, B, C, D, S, Y, Z. And, you know, you know I'm, sometimes I'm kind of shocked that so for all these years, mm. people are kind of looking into what I was doing. Mm. So aside with you on that, yeah. sometimes we have to look deeper into ourselves and do certain things the right way. That's all. But sometimes we do miss the mark, mm. especially artists. Yeah. That's yo. true. That's true. Because like as you see, the artist too is looking from the point of view that, yo... Every time they tell we can't pass through, can't pass, can't through, pass through, you know, and then you actually you have a team, yeah. you know, you have you you actually have to bring a DJ, a selector of course, to play. Of course, you how to transport yourself? Unika was all Yeah, you know, so it's it's a whole lot. But just like I'm saying, 
if until you know what you want mm -hmm. and how to tap into some of these things because just like you said the links that you got actually is way bigger than what they could have given you that day of course of course so you just wait me if i know is is all right for me to do it without pay i do it and and people can actually testify to that that we play plenty of the shows we not in the email it'd be, it be free but it'd be in actually get we here today yeah and yeah. and and you know um one way or the other I have to commend episode. It is not because he is here. You know what I mean? Because mm. on the day of the uh the 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 skanking suite to Ghana, yeah, you know, yeah, um yeah. juggling. You understand yeah. me? I said my piece on stage, you yeah. understand me? <laughs> <laughs> but I have to give the man the flowers simply because <laughs> you know I, I have studied and I've seen that anytime we put up a sound system, something together, episode always grace yeah. you know the occasion. Yeah, you understand me? And I would like to say big up to that. Give you thanks. understand me? Give thanks. The only thing is my dogs. The dogs for Kabi. You go Kabi. No, but actually, thing. I'm actually trying to have a session for dogs, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, you, I just, I'm gonna post it one of these days. Any, any selector should just link up for a dog. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. I think, I think this is something that we the artists have to do. Have to do. Yeah. I, I think we have to do it. You know? I think um, I had a deal, a dope deal for Shatawale, mm. and then Shatawale gave everything to the manager in, in Jamaica Kim. Mm. At the end of the dub, we, we had almost um, 10 k dollars. Jeez. And Shatter said, the woman should keep everything. You understand me? Wow. And the, <laughs> your, your, your brother man, they yeah. gonna hear. You know, every time I they say that, because that thing pay me wow. I'm the, your brother, I'm your brother. You know, the, the, the serious <laughs> aspect of the whole thing, we say, Shatter called me and he told me, yo, Lagazi, you know, say we made this out of, yeah, out of it. But I think make it take up. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the main thing, and the, and the main thing was, I had one and two sounds who, mm. who linked me and said, yo, Lagazi, I need Shatter on dope. Mm. Sh Shamani sound system, wow. you know, was one. They've got like three dubs from Shatter wow. on that day. So imagine, you know, so it is not that we don't have the links for the dubs. But we, availability yeah, and the truth. <laughs> we have the good link for the dubs and all that. But you see, sometimes a man will link you from foreign and he'll be like, oh, I need artist A and artist B. Mm. And you'll be like, Charlie, artist A and artist B, if you call them, stress. they will not even pick. You, they will stress you out before they will pick your call. You understand me? Mm. At the point, in, at, almost from the, 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 the later part of last year, episode wasn't replying my... <laughs> you know <laughs> messages and all that I don't get food yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but sometimes you know no, what I mean no but but, 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 but let me clear that yeah mm -hmm. so later part of last year yeah. I went into hiding anybody who I was around me knew it yeah that as much as I was promoting a tian, yeah I also had some family stuff to deal with yeah definitely you know so and I'm the type I can actually put on my phone for some time yeah so that one day I apologize <laughs> I apologize <laughs> No, I, I got I got some inside <laughs> info inside out. Yeah, so, wow. <laughs> so 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 I'm I'm privy to everything. You thank you. Me? Thank so, you. So because of that, oh, but you if anything say, oh, oh. brother man no say. Let me so. That's why I said. Let me so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so episode is a good performer, and uh, you know, like like we've been doing on this show. Mm. Any artists that come to, we try to play something before we talk yeah. about. Obra, mm -hmm. and we climbed the show with Obra and everything. Mm. The main reason why you 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 you've gone back into that from Atia. Mm. But the man realized, say Charlie, that Atia the high life. Charlie, I'm sure. No, but Obra, Obra actually has a reggae rendition. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, really? Yes, recorded. Wow. All right, bring it. Yes, yes. recorded. All I was, right. I was trying to get the rhythm for today, but the producer not there available. No problem. No problem. You know. All right. So, um, I am sure that the Atia the the yeah. high life. The high life, you know, yeah. rendition, you know, side episode is getting something good from there. So he, he is deciding now to <laughs> to, <laughs> to 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 pay attention more to high life, <laughs> and I respect that. Everyone must eat. Everyone Easy. must eat food. You see, like the way you see the way he swag up, kaftan, <laughs> you know, rasta man, clean, you know, Easy. before he eats, killer, before he eats. Ale. <laughs> yeah. 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 Give thanks. Give thanks. Well, actually, how we recorded it, that's how wow. we put it out. No, no editing, nothing. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. All right. So let's do this epi. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, na 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 na. 
ba, 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 ba. Let me see if I can do the new song on this one. All right, all right. Original, that one your original for Lagazi, you know, man. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Intimate on your name, bro, na me, yeah, Sum, sum, wap, we, bro, na me, yeah, we. Echo, nya, mye, bro, na me, yeah, we. Sum, sum, wap, we, bro, na me, yeah, we. Me, bu, se, bu, mi, san, se, ni. Wong, fa, mi, nya, shim, po. Ye, kwa, mi, ko. Ye, ba, mi, ba. But here da one me Bro na mi Episode in the building. Brand new. I like this reggae Oh God! Oh God! Let's go! radio. Listen. Bro, na mi awe. Sum sum wa fwe. Bro, na mi awe. E jo na mi. Bro, na mi awe. Sum sum wa fwe. Bro. Listen to the verse, no man. Goes like this. Me bu se bu mi san san ni. Wong fa mi nya shimpo. Ya kwa minko, ye ba minba, a boa si ko ay, fon sa tu mi kom na ma meninji, a boa si ko ay, fon sa tu mi kom na ma meninji, wala a boa si ko ay, fon sa tu mi kom na ma meninji, come we need money, we need money, we need money. Yeah, yeah, bro, na mi ya we, sum sum wa fwe, bro, na mi ya we, e jo na mi, bro, na mi ya we, sum sum wa fwe, bro, na mi ya we, ti, yeah, kayo, se a brand new arabo. I want you to come with me here, and I won't know what down for. Yeah, can you? So here the nipa be do it today, and don't turn it on who modding. Send me a wusu be ye ye. Me jefuni erati, me wongwa na me wadi. I'm found to nipa so na nipa be di ugamo. Messi would you fool near a job? Who won't quana who a job? And found to nip a soon and nip a bed. You know, I said that in 2015. Head gun, but we own track. And a fat Joe, so we're not going to leave my legacy. We them can't see we dead. No, them can't see episode dead. Hey, I. One if you're not turn back. Help no one if in try if you be like I tell them said them no 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 them not no no them can't see like as he did so what we do we tell them we change color see we change color change color to the enemy we change color different color and in 2017 they tell them this new level new devil yeah them sit and I sip juice when we dip and we grind and hustle cha. And the other brag about the clear picture when them never help fix my puzzle. The way them there, when Lagas is on a fight, feed him the plate. Yeah, fight, feed him the plate. 
Mecho un amie, bro, una mía, wey. Ace. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, la gazi, mi mes danza, no, give me a danza already, you know. Give me a danza already. Ace. Yo, episode, yo, la gazi, give me a danza already. Yeah. All right, so. Give me something. Give me all right, something. all right, so. Let's go into the showtime with him. Showtime with him. Easy. Yo, yo. Jeez. The muffin now. Easy. Lock on you. Yeah. Federation, 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 when the reaction, when we step in a federation, 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 federation. Yo, like I say, Medarration, 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 Medarration. Let me explain that word in a man, Mr. Medarration. It goes like this, no man. When we see a murder, we keep behind the positive. Thousand degrees, I keep watching on the scene. Very good bad boys, I lock down the thing. The make the girl, I'm still a wind up for you. We get a link from the original down, dada. Certified bad man, and no other can we we fling. Remember, I'm no typewriter. You lock us the sound, but we tell them. All right, again, I'm missing me. You originate to make the bad and prototype. We originate to make the bad and prototype. Them no see episode of me at one done. No, I want not one done, but me is the last done. Like as this sound, tell them episode once again. In the Assassin, we do 99.5 once again. So we step on the beats and we kill it up again. Me love the one job play and episode do it again. Yo, baddest in the game, I make them know so we not kick it. They knew where we come like food, we come to eat it. Make them know say episode are straight, that my kick it like football. Straight in the net, me still like kick it, but different style, different energy, you know. Freestyle. Episode me kill every show right now. Panasasi radio. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> DJ buddy, yo, them know this in a man. Them think we done yet? Watch this. We live, we live the eye now with all the change. From what they me too can nap and me never win. Hey, me and the lion are not the same. So you run up your muffle by your full plate. Lagazi, who say he mad it done? Be a mad people where me come from. Be it, be it, be it, be it. All right, we tell them now, hey. Harder than them, harder than them. And freestyle, tougher than them, smarter than them. We step in the ring, yo, we box them up in the face. So we kill all of them, kill all of them. Easy. Step in the place, Mohamed Ali. Freestyle episode, so we come to do it. Tell them man up his thing like a bee. In the way some yo, pick your phone and just tweet it. Come in the pan like a zero day, you right now as I see. Make them lose the episode, I kick it up once again. In the way we come, we show them yo, we got the style, we got the vibe, yo. Like as he pull it up again. Easy. Easy, buddy. Now we go. More now, to go. Now, let's step into a bra. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, you know, if I play all day, we'll go long. We'll go yeah, ahead. Uh, quick. Let's talk about Abra. Yeah. What exactly informed that? Just like I said, last year was a tough one. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, if you listen to the lyrics, it's actually more personal. And um, I think it's one that everybody can relate, you know. Because I feel like as much as we get to entertain people, sometimes um, we miss to be entertained. Yeah. And, you know, after all the jumping and all the screaming and everything and people laughing, you go back into your shell and, and shed tears. So it's one of the songs that um personally I I I I had to put out. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I had to just make people know that regardless of everything, sometimes we also need help. And the only person we can cause ja, you know. Same. It's, it's, Same. A, it's a personal so, one. So 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 this was recorded live. Yes, live. Wow. Live. Life. Live, live, live. With um the San Trophy band. Yeah, yeah. You know. Live. No, no. No, no effect, nothing is yes analog and 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 no auto tune. Yeah, but I, I I really like how, you know, um, you love life. Yeah, you know, recording life and all that. In yeah. terms of the production and all that, you know, um um, what exactly went into that? Well, this particular this particular project, we had to um cancel three different sessions before we got the right one. Wow. Yes. So you know, because it's not like. You enter the booth, you do a first line and go like, yo, hold on, hold on, pick yeah, it up, pick, yeah. pick the next line, yeah. you know. Recording, when when they press 
record is from start to the time um, the, the song ends. So if there's any mistake, you have to scrub everything and then start afresh, you know? So, wow. and um, the kind of sound we wanted, we wanted that kind of indigenous analog sound. Mm -hmm. And the studio, which is PMA, is actually a new world class. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it took extra to be actually to tune all the instruments and everything to sound um, like like in the 60s or the 70s. And and I'm really grateful that we, we had um, the final results at this one. You know. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> episode. General. Coming from DJ Rini. He mm. said, Charlie, tell episode, say, I feel him. I feel you too. Yeah, man. I you know? feel you too. If you boy, you get. <laughs> choose, yeah, I'm going to choose my words right. <laughs> DJ Rini. <laughs> DJ Rini works with Assassin Radio. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> you I know? feel you too. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, Big respect to Bob Africa, big respect to Benedict Jaffe's yeah. and all the crew, you know what I mean? All mm -hmm. of them are on the life, you know? Trust yeah. me. Um, Mufasa says, you know, episode is is, is large, explosive. Amazing. You know what I mean? So, so in terms of this song now, I I, mm. I know you recorded the, the the visual aspect. Yes, I did. I edited so, it. So, and everything. So, so it's out? Yeah, the video is out. The okay. Video, the video is out. It's actually... What what was recorded mm -hmm. is what is out. Okay. No editing, no like post um cut, let's shoot again. Yeah. You know, we had to shoot while we were <laughs> we were recording. Yeah. You know? so, yeah, yeah. So it was straight. straight. Straight, straight, straight. Wow. Straight. Wow. No mix up and all that. No man, no man. No. Wow. Straight. Wow. All right. So let's have a feel of the song, mm. Umbra. But it's out on all the guitar. All the guitar. The video is out on YouTube. It's doing amazing. Wow, you know, yeah. wow, wow. Easy. Charlie, this one is highlight, but let's have a feel. It'd be, it be me, I break the rules yeah. for you. <laughs> Bob Africa says, authentic high life song. The production is first rated and it got all the high life elements. Sandra Ricardi says, God bless his hard work. May it pay off. Nicholas Atta says, Nick Nicholas Atta says, wow, episode, you are good. Big ups. Um, big ups. Um, I'm DJ America from Cape Coast. All right. Come to the phone line. We have episode in the building. Someone is on the line. Hello. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What is your name? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Tema. I'm, I'm Tiki. You are calling from Tema, and your name is? My name is Tiki. Tiki. All right, we have episode yeah. in the in the studio. Yo, who, who's in the studio? Episode, right? Yes, boss. Yeah, can I food a guy? You know. Thank you. I thank really you. Thank you. Song. And I'm free that actually wherever you're going to, wherever you reach, um, God should guide him. Whatever you're doing, I mean, you should keep it up. So thank that, you. That's the man that we want in the town. I love him. God bless. Thank you. Respect Thank every you. time. Respect right. every time. Respect every time. Hello, uh, my time, my people, your eye open. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. What do you think? Zero two zero 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 nine nine five one zero five nine four zero five nine four one five seven 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 seven. Thirty minutes going into the hour one. You know what time? We'll wrap it up with episode. But what do you think right now? So I can imagine the 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 hustle you've been through, Epi. Hello. Yeah. My name is Kofi. I'm on a contribution in the show. All right. Your name is Kofi. Call him from where? Oh, right now I'm on my way to Tanzania. Okay. I'm listening uh, to you through 100.30. Wow, 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 wow. Cape Coast. Talk to me. We have episode in the studio. Okay. Maximum respect to you, Lagasi. Mm -hmm. At the same time to episode. Give thanks. I give mean, thanks. I, this best of quality. And uh, much more respect for that. Give thanks, I appreciate it. I mean, we are all global people. So now we listen to everything. Yeah. We are not taking you to only reggae. We do highlights. 
we do hip hop, we do everything. So when you turn out quality, I mean, thumbs up. I'm very happy. Thank you. Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. I appreciate it. Wow. Thank you so much, my brother. Easy. Happy. Boss. Recording this particular song in terms of <laughs> the, the experience you've gone to, then Charlie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a hard yeah, one. Yeah, it was, it was a, a tough a one. one. Very tough one. And you know, that time too, I was promoting at Yeah. So, you know, it's it's that doubling in between your happy with people and then your sad alone, you know. Charlie. So, yeah, it's a hard yeah. one. But we are happy now. We are here. <laughs> hey, know, we, are happy now. we have life, you know. Definitely, 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 definitely. Wow. Ima imagine this on a reggae. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Easy. Yo, the reggae I, I, I can't wait. Yo, you will have it. Trust Yo, me. I, I can't it. wait. Easy. Live recorded, you know. Wow. Mad. 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 Wow, 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 wow. We give thanks. We give thanks. Mm -hmm. So, so. Um, I don't want to say the pipeline because sometimes when you open the tap, it doesn't flow. Yeah, so what exactly do you have in the future line for Obra? Well, um, you've made um, mention of the reggae version. Yes, you know, yes. Stepping out soon. How soon would that be? Very soon, very soon. Um, I'm, I'm yet to release other renditions. Oh, okay. This one to go get rendition. We saw you for doing right now. Go milk everything. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> yeah, because. Because, because next year like that, I'm looking at being in the gospel song of the year. Oh, okay. And, you know, Definitely. Uh, record song, record of the year, songwriter Definitely. of the year, Definitely. artist uh, of the year, reggae song of the year, high life song of the year. Someone is on the line. Hello. Yeah, hello, okay. Yeah, man, what is on the Where are you calling from? Yeah, you know, this is Chichi. He's played from two weeks. Oh, uh, how is Hohoe Chichi Dudu? Oh, Hohoe cool, man. <laughs> all right, all right. We give thanks. We give thanks. We have an episode in the studio. Yeah, episode. Yes, boss. You know, one of my critics when it comes to reggae dance on his years. Thank you. And I, I believe he has even the authenticity of that uh, uh, reggae artist than most people. You know, I mention him. Thank you. And my only problem is, you know, this a little bit diversion into high life mm -hmm. is giving me, you know, some troubles because. You realize that I see a song, mm -hmm. the reggae came out. Mm -hmm. But when the highlights came out, it dinged the, the shine of the reggae. Yes. And then I'm afraid that we face, you know, thumbs up for him doing good on reggae might, you know, divert mm -hmm. his uh, original, originality of reggae dancers to reggae. Mm -hmm. And that way, and then he's one of the few people that I think that internationally he can take his day. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So, but big ups to him. I love his personality, especially live performance. And also, when it comes to live, let me tell you, in Ghana, he is one of the people that go on stage, and you can hear his breath through his sound. He performs as original as he's supposed to be. Yeah, thank you. And thank so, you. just want to pick him up, but I don't want him to concentrate so much on highlights. I know that yes, he yes. has to be Ghanaians, but yes, he yes. should also look globally, and I think he can do that for us. Yes, boss. Yeah, yes, All boss. right. Respect. He, he said he, he, you are you are part of the few artists that goes on stage without panting. So we panting. <laughs> we say, Charlie, they're just smoking be playing. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> we get problem. We don't get problem. <laughs> Charlie, this is you. <laughs> oh God. So so um how how do you keep fit? I jog. I don't okay. gym because of the way my body type. I become more. Bulky. Of course, of course. And you know, kapoepoe. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I jog. I jog most yeah. of the time. And then um, I don't. I don't drink. I don't smoke. That's one good thing for me as mm -hmm. a performer. Mm -hmm. So, before I, I know if I have a, a major event, mm -hmm. there are certain things I don't eat. Mm. You know, and then also keep the body hydrated most of the time, and that's okay. it. I'm good to go. All right, all right. So um, you made mention of obra. Yeah. Uh, it's going to have a lot of renditions and Definitely. all that. We've got a high life. Are we yeah. going to get the Afrobeat? You know, are we going to get the jazz? Mm. Are we going to get make, the make a, make a just Make a just keep on as a secret because <laughs> what happened with the, the first one? Yeah. You know, the shocking part was, oh, then the high life came. So maybe this one, you could get a different one, no be high life. Because this one already is high life. Yeah. So you could get a different, and I know you love those ones too. Oh, same. Yeah, same. maybe the reggae stuff could come overshadow this one. Easy. <laughs> 
Then the reggae people too say, yes, we love the reggae ones. And then the high life people to come and fight. Why have you stopped the high life? Yeah, do reggae. So. Hey, Ghana. <laughs> Ghana be funny place. So. Bro. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all yeah, good. Yeah, it's all yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I, I know you have a whole lot of things to do. Yeah. In terms of um, somebody wanting to book you mm. or work with you or anything, mm. how would a person get to you? Well, most of the time, definitely through, through my show, socials, that's um, episode music. But um, I think I have to put maybe this number out in case when somebody wants to reach out direct. So it's 0244 That's That's the management's number, you know. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So anybody who, who wants to... Do yeah, business. Bring the check. Bring yeah. the check. You know. Easy. Is, is episode expensive? Well, I'll say yes and uh, no. Okay. Yes, because sometimes uh, the charity we do self pass, you know, the the, the monies we take. Mm-hmm. But 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 then again, expensive because I'll definitely give an expensive performance, so mm-hmm. it should match up with whatever that is coming from from the business side. Mm-hmm. So it depends on which how you weigh the event and and. The reason why we have to be at the event. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. All right. Maybe I'll be free, you know. See. Maybe it's a bit here. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Easy. All right. So, the social. Well, it's episode music E P I X O D E M U S I C. E P I X O D E M U S I C. On every every platform, even the digital platforms, Amazon, um, um, iTunes. Spotify, audio markets, it's still episode music, yeah. All right, so people can reach you anywhere, and, yeah, man. All right, Be- before I leave you finally, a mm. word of advice is very, very important. Um, and and, 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 and uh, I, I don't know whether you, you've seen your look alike, uh, look alike <laughs> around, <laughs> no. right? I don't, th- I don't think I can have a look alike. <laughs> Are you sure? The look alike, I have a sketch, eh? <laughs> yeah, Andy. yeah. I think me, myself, I for. One day go perform the was song, <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> but but Charlie, but that thing be serious. Yeah. It's, what it's do you fun. think? Well, I think is is all right. We will definitely have people to idolize us. Mm-hmm. The kind of work we do, you mm-hmm. know. But it's 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 not okay for them to use it for commercial purposes because these are brands that individuals have actually invested. And the sad part is they can't even match up to the originals. That's the sad part. You would have people who will sing Beyonce's song and then Beyonce herself will go like, oh, wow. Mm-hmm. You know? But then he sing uh, Kwame Eugene's song and he says, yeah, like, you know, but I can't speak for the brands themselves. Maybe they find it okay or they, they, they deem it okay for these guys to do that. But personally, I don't think it's right for for them to impersonate and then also use that for commercial purposes. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. All right. All right. Easy. Because a lot of these look alike, they, they are eating food of the earth. Yo, it's crazy. They say they're and they take formal, so. <laughs> <laughs> My father is, I saw Syria, yo. <laughs> <girl. laughs> Actually. You know, but another thing, let me let me point this out. I think I, I watched one of the boys, Um, he's trying to disrespect medical and stuff. No, it's a no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. You know, I think he should be cautioned. Um, It's, it's a no, no. It's a no, no, no for him to actually think that he's getting numbers off TikTok. Mm-hmm. When he does lie, so give him the edge to disrespect um, these artists. And no, 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 no. That's that's not cool. All right. Look like, you know, somebody must approach him. Oh, them can't come in our corner, you know. <laughs> no, man. No, but but I've never seen that at the reggae dance or side That, yet. you know, we got them. No. <laughs> it's going to get bloody, you know. <laughs> <laughs> because I have like, seen... Look, like, wait, you go, you go in person too. Pumbolo. <laughs> Or, Bolo, uh, or who? Conqueror or uh, uh, Black Rasta. Or oh, Sajifu. Oh, hey! Hey! Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. All right, episode. I would like to say big respect and thanks for coming through. But I, have, thanks. I also have um, now British in the studio. Um, you know, you, 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 um, working hand in hand with episode. Are you, are, are you glad with, with the fact that episode is, it's kind of like how Chichi Dudu called in and said, he is not too comfortable with episode switching from, you know, reggae coming to high life. And again, high life people will be saying, that, yo, the man is good with high life. I think, I think he should stop. He should stop, <laughs> stop doing the reggae, reggae and <laughs> concentrate on high life. What do you make of that, now British? Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. I think that mm-hmm. 
episode hasn't switched. Mm -hmm. He's just an artist and mm -hmm. he's doing his thing. Saying, okay. But but from what people are saying, you know, like how Chichi Dudu called, called in and say and, and and said, myself, I have I have called him and I'm like, <laughs> yo, listen, Charlie, the, the high life you did with that thing, Charlie, they fly you. But it looked like the reggae <laughs> Charlie that thing <laughs> that thing off. You understand? Yeah. So you 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 being part of you know epi and all that, mm. you know, what what do you make of like what the reggae people are saying? You know, because I know you're a reggae dancer person as well. But are you are you comfortable that okay he's eating food from high life? So yes, I should be comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> that you, you are eating food from high yes. life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm British. All right. <laughs> She said he, she had to be comfortable because you like the way that thing do. You forgive me, reggae, make I do that thing reggae for them. Oh, oh. Make them my heart calm down. All right, all right. You so. know, if you know be so dear, uh, if I leave you a problem, 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 problem. But but this year, one of the things, uh, one of the initiatives I'm trying to put across is I'm trying to we have we're putting a, a platform together where I'll do more for the reggae dancehall artists in the sense that I'll be shooting um, live sessions for them. Oh, okay. So we, we're working out a, a thing called the Cove Studios. Mm -hmm. It's already ready. And then it's also going to mentor them with the live band skills and all of that. So we'll be having like the way the BBC One Extra Sessions mm -hmm. goes on. Mm -hmm. But it's just giving back to these guys who who want to um, I, grow in the radio. I, I think um, you've done something like that before. Yes, yes I have. You know, I have. It was a rhythm Yes, project, a rhythm right? and I put all the artists on it. So this time around, I'm going to be selective and then also have these artists not only giving them the platform, but also teaching them how to to, to fish. Mm -hmm. Because then I can shoot a video for you and then you just go put it home. But then again, to the, pro, the thing is, five years from now, would you be able to hold your grounds and say that, okay, because of this, I've learned this or learned that and that. So it's a whole thing. We, we Me and the team are working out um, Kimbe concerts and then the whole Very Good Bad Boy. So just be on the lookout. All right. Happy. This one, if I say I go play some rhythm and all that kind of thing, a lot mm. of things will go happen. So I don't go play any rhythm. Easy. Oh. I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> it's what yeah. you got into the hour. Easy. Episode, thank you so much. You can. <laughs> for coming to reggae people, they for vex. They for vex. I saw Siri and Yeah, man. So um, we'll be looking forward, maybe after the... Uh, VGM is, mm. we'll be looking forward to have you back. Definitely. So that um, we can go into things, you understand? Yeah, me? I, I know Atia has been um, nominated. Nominated. Yes. So High Life song. Yo, Charlie, yo, <laughs> yo, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Charlie, the man they use one, one stone to kill me. <laughs> For <What>? bed. <laughs> so this year, I will take the award boo rounds like that. <laughs> Google, if you are listening, make sure say if I win that one, you could join the bus. We could go tour with that one. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Episode. Thank you so much for your time. And stuff. Yeah, big up, big up all the reggae dancehall lovers who have. Yo, big up Kumbolo, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big up Zylo, you know. Mm -hmm. And big up all the artists. Big up all my fathers. Definitely. Like that. Definitely, definitely. All right. Easy.